Linking two sequences can assist reporting by allowing the comparison of results from different methods, the confirmation of peak identities, the detection of co-eluting compounds, and the improvement of data quality and reliability. This improves Sante analytical quality control criteria, reduces risk of misreporting and minimizes the need for re-injections. We'll start by linking two sequences. Right-click on the sequence, and open the properties. Click on the ellipsis button, and choose the sequence to be linked. With the name and location shown in the sequence properties, the first sequence is now shown in the linked sequence properties as well. Let's see the linked sequences in the Chromatography Studio. The sequences are shown at the top of the navigation pane, and easy to pin to choose which one to view. Or pin both for dual sequence comparison. Each injection has a sequence identifier. Choose any components, or injections. Let's filter the injections to only show unknown samples. Samples in both sequences do not have an identifier, but, hover over the name to see the injection positions. Studio panes automatically split when sequences are linked, but component only shown if it appears in both sequences. The letter prefix shows the sequence they are associated with, no letter means it is in both sequences. Icons show detected and confirmed, detected but confirmation failed, or not detected and the component tables are also split when they are linked. Dual sequence linking enables simultaneous processing in the Chromatography Studio.